In our first couple tonight is Susanna Reid and her partner Kevin. In our chapter chat tonight, please. Now, Susanna. Susanna told me uh, she's the first breakfast television presenter to have ever scored 39 points. I said, actually, that's not true, Susanna. Fiona Phillips got 39 points. You see, if you add up all the points for the... <laughs> for the four weeks she was here, that's 39 what? points. It's a funny joke. <laughs> I thought they'd all gone. Right. <laughs> Here they are, anyway, in training. Good luck with you. Saturday night, that Paso on the Blackpool Tower ballroom floor. I don't think I'm ever going to have a moment like that ever again. Baba, you are <laughs> Well done. I had said to Kevin, I'm not a 10 sort of a person. So to then get... Hold it! I can't really believe it. It's like an out-of-body experience. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. Thank you. Lying on the floor at the end of the dance, I just felt people's reaction. My heart was fit to burst. It was incredible. Boom, 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 boom. This week, we are dancing cha-cha. I can't do it. You have to nail the cha-cha walks. <laughs> Do it! Who invented cha-cha walks? I want to see them now. I can run more than 26 miles in one go. That's impressive. I find walking so challenging. I've definitely noticed that. I've got a plan. We're here for this. You sort of walk a bit like you just got off your horse. It's a little, you know, tricky to get on. Can you, can you get on now? Yeah. One in front of the other. Yeah. That's called walking. Cha -cha -cha. Cha -cha. So much better. Actually, genuinely good. These are the best cha-cha walks you've done all day. All right, let's see you get off then. Well, I thought I'd try something like this. There we go. Time to get back to training, I think. My feet have barely touched the ground, but I'm hoping that my new technique will leave the judges beaming on Saturday. Dancing the cha-cha-cha, Susanna Reed and Kevin Clifton. Kevin! Shimmy like that. <laughs> oh, you like shimmying as well, don't you? I don't usually require that on the breakfast soap. <laughs> no, of course not on the breakfast soap. <laughs> I should think not. Oh, and by the way, let's welcome our judges. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> they, uh, they all had a few drinks after the show in Blackpool. Bruno went out with the professional dancers because he gets on well with them. Len went out with the male celebrities because he gets on well with them. Darcy went out with the female celebrities because she gets on with them. And Craig had room service. <laughs> <laughs> ah. And 
And he saw a match of the day. <laughs> right. Can you, can you imagine that? Right, Len, what did you think of that Well, first may day? I just say before that, not only to you, Susanna, but to all of our couples, that, you know, we're getting down a little bit now to the nitty-gritty. There's not too far to go. And the standard is high and the competition is close. So, things that we've overlooked a little bit over in the past, we're going to be really picking up on because we want to see the best get through to the final and move on. So, having said that, that's what I'm looking for. I'm really going to be picking up everything. And I thought the timing was good. I liked the mix of steps. Your problem in this dance was your leg action. Mm. You didn't get that straightening leg. It wasn't sharp and crisp. And because of that, you lost hip action. It was acceptable, but it was acceptable. <laughs> Give us a break. Oh. See what I'm saying, Bruce? Yes, I did. One you force move no, and there was. It was acceptable. <laughs> uh, it wasn't exceptional. It was good enough, I guess, but got to be much crisper in the in yeah, future. Yeah, well, we, I think we've got a message there. Uh, Bruno. Susanna. Yeah. You house trained that puppy so well. <laughs> but then I wouldn't expect anything less from you. I tell you, you sell. I mean, your performances fly off the shelves like mince pies at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Len was right, because you know, there is a very distinctive hip action that has to happen in the cha-cha-cha, and it wasn't yeah. as pronounced as it could have been. Obviously, your performance is always up there, but, you know, next time, if you don't know the cha-cha, really get these hips going, because it's so important. Otherwise, great fun. <laughs> <laughs> but you were never keen on doing the cha-cha-cha, were you? I have to say, Chacha and I have, have found it hard to make friends. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> a difficult one for you. Craig? Well, I really like the vampy beginning. That all got off to a great start. Timing throughout, as Len said, very, very good. Always you supply personality, which I love. But for me, it did not pop, it did not zing. And I think you need to think about almost hyper-extending your body. You have to go a lot further. And I could see that you were trying hard to straighten your legs and get hip action. But for me, it was all a little bit mumsy, darling. Stop it, Bruno. Behave. <laughs> Behave. Right, Darcy, finish us off. Yeah, no, the boys are right. It, it's, it's a shame. It's just that technique and getting a quicker, straighter leg as, as much as you can. Um, but, you know, it is a difficult dance and it just it's wasn't right. yours tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's a shame that the glamour of uh, Blackpool ballroom is over and we have to get, as, as the boys said, oh. a little bit more picky. But you still give 100%. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> Straighten your legs, that's what they're all saying, but don't do it going up the stairs. <laughs> but it was lovely, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's your own hiccup. Up you go, Susanna. Come here, you. OK, well, I'm going to pick with Craig. He said you were mumsy. As a mother, I'd say anything but mumsy. Uh, well, One sassy mum, I'm all like. There's alike. nothing wrong with being mumsy, is there, when you've got three boys? Nothing wrong at all, <laughs> but I would say... One sassy hot mama tonight. <laughs> oh. Do you know what, Tess? I didn't know that about the 39 points. What? Breakfast presenters getting 39. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, 39, you're on a yeah. high after last week. I mean, I has don't that think so today. Has... <laughs> <laughs> you not? I get the impression. <laughs> but after that, I mean, it must be a confidence boost after that high last week. It was. I mean, last weekend was absolutely phenomenal, wasn't it? Yeah, but, yeah, uh, but you know, with the cha-cha, I knew there was no chance of matching that. So, just glad I've gone out and done it. And well, it was let's great see fun. what yeah, the scores was. are this week. They're in. It's time for the judges' scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Seven. <laughs> Darcy Bustle. Eight. <laughs> Len Goodman. Eight. <laughs> and Bruno Tullio. Eight. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah. I'm really happy with 31. That's that. amazing. Well, what do you think? If you want to throw these hound dogs a bone, then vote for them. Call 622-5203 from your mobile, 0905-2252-03 for your landline, or you can vote for free online if you haven't registered. You still can at bbc.co.uk forward slash Strictly and cause cost 15p from a mobile or BT landline. And please ask permission from whoever pays the bill. And voting won't open until all our couples have danced. So please don't call now. If you do, your vote won't count and you may still be charged. Now, remember, all of our couples, all of them, are going to need your votes at this stage of the competition mm. because nobody is safe without you. 
Back to you, Bruce. Thank you.